your excellencies, federal governors, commissioner of the African Union Commission, honorable, honorable ministers and governors of the African Development Bank Group, heads of international bilateral and regional financial institutions, distinguished guests, good morning. On behalf of the Kenya government and chair of the African Development Bank Boards of Governors, allow me to take this opportunity to welcome you all to Nairobi for the 59th annual meetings of the African Development Bank Group. These meetings are being held closely after the recent meetings of the World Bank's IDA 21 replenishment summit that the government of Kenya was privileged to host and His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, is a champion. I'm therefore delighted to welcome you back here at home in Nairobi. First, I want to begin by expressing our deepest appreciation for the warm and cordial relationship that exists between Af the, the African continent and our premier development bank, the African Development Bank. The African Development Bank Madit remains relevant and important to, to the African continent as it supports a wide range of development activities that have supported in many ways the process towards economic vibrancy, economic growth, job creation, improved incomes, and better living conditions for the, African, uh, for the Africans and the African economies. We wish to, re to reassure the bank of our continued commitment to this fruitful partnership and collaboration. Allow me also to convey my appreciation to the bank group for, the, for delivering a very relevant theme for the, this year's annual meetings, which is Africa's transformation, African Development Bank Group, and reform of the global financial architecture. This resonates quite well with the current global agenda and discourse on the need to reform the global financial architecture to be responsive to the dynamic needs of our continent. I'm glad that the annual meetings includes high-level plenary session for the launch of the bank's flagship publication, the 2024 African Economic Outlook, a, president, a presidential dialogue and thematic knowledge events and, 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 and with, on the theme. And this provides us with a unique opportunity to address Africa's challenges and opportunities at the highest decision-making levels. Consistent with the theme of the annual meetings, the focus of the knowledge event aims to fast track structural transformations, uh, transformation in Africa. This is a panacea to foster socioeconomic transformation in addition to addressing the importance of reconfiguring global financial arch architecture as an engine for structural transformation. It is comforting to note that the bank's group, group's contrib contribution towards Africa's socioeconomic transformation in 60 years of existence, especially on infrastructure, has been such monumental with a significant and important mark in spite of the limited level of resources when compared to other global multilateral development institutions. Excellencies, Ladies and gentlemen, as we reaffirm our strong support to the African Development Bank, I urge colleague governors to, defend, to deepen their discussions around the increase of the general corable capital. This will protect the bank's AAA rating on a sustainable basis against recurrent external shocks, including downgrade of its AAA rated shareholders. This will enable the bank to maintain its lending trajectory and preserve its position as a, as a strategic lender and the premier development financial institu finance institutions in Africa. But above all, reform that is consistent with the theme, theme of the 2024 annual meetings. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in the midst of the global and even regional challenges, we have opportunities to reboot our policy framework and efforts to develop a more competitive and integrated economies in Africa that will attract greater investment.
I therefore urge all of us to seize the opportunities provided during the annual meetings to bring forward practical policy discussions for corrective efforts in terms of mutual dialogue, stronger partnership, effective joint coordination for the realization of the African Economic Development Agenda. With these remarks, I wish all of you fruitful discussions and present stay in Nairobi, Kenya, which has many rich offerings outside your formal sessions that I would like to invite you to sample. Asante sana. Thank you very much. With those welcoming words of our chairperson, I'd like to introduce the 2020 annual meeting opening video. Please cue the video. With all the minerals we have, all gas, metals, forest resources, carbon resources, and everything